And before we get into this video about the review, we are not sponsored by them. We don't, we don't take any sponsorships from anybody that doesn't make their products in the United States. We're just showing an alternative because cameras, for instance, like ag cams and stuff like that, none of them are made here. Not even, not John Deere, especially not John Deere, anything they offer. So that is why we went this way and you know, we've, we've looked into it. It's just electronics aren't made here. So even the biggest companies in the United States, like Dell, they don't make any electronics here. So again, we are not sponsored by them. There is a link down below. If you want to see this specific one, that's fine, but that's all it's for. Good morning, everyone. I, uh, I made a mistake apparently when I made that video with the uh, Sofun, Siphon, whatever you want to pronounce it, AI system camera for the skid steer. Everybody was real curious about all these different things about it. I thought I covered all the features well, but they wanted to see it in use. I just didn't think anybody would be that excited about it or that curious about it. So I'm gonna make a quick review video of it in action and actually using it. So this driveway behind me and I'll round about all the way up to our shop. And even over here, I was using the skid steer to spread all that out. And I love it because when these clowns right here that are following me get behind me, it gives me an alert. The only thing I don't really like about it is that if you back up to a fence, for instance, so like this fence behind me, you know, it's got some wood pan or some wood uh, two by fours on it and obviously the fencing, it doesn't always set the AI beeper off and say like, hey, you know, something's there. So for people or dogs or animals, it works great. But for, you know, stationary objects and inanimate objects, not so well. But I'll show you how it works and show you how you like it. The sound is gonna be awful on the, uh, cause it, everything that it hears back there, so you can probably hear the skits you're idling right now, it plays it all through the mic. So ideal for this situation, absolutely not. But if you had it on the back of a trailer, for instance, and you're backing up and you got somebody back there talking to you, it would work great for that. All right, so we're gonna go up here, we're gonna scoop some manure out of this trailer. I don't have a good way to do it, so. We got this manure for free from some friends, and it's hard to pass up something like that. I might have turned the throttle. So now we're backing up, going down. Of course, the one time a dog is not behind us. It is a little bit glitchy, so it, it's not a, you know, it's not like watching a live stream. There's a little bit of a delay sometimes, but it's not bad. That's my example right there. It's like, you can see this wall and this gate's right behind me, like about to hit it, but it does not show as an object you know, like a dog or an animal or a person would. There's Bella again, it's recognizing her. Not gonna beep because she's not inside that square, but. Now we'll do obliques to the other side. So that's kind of the gist of how it works and how well it works. Um, you know, like I said, I, I'm pretty happy about it, but I do wish that it would do a little better with non-living objects like gates, but I think Part of the problem with gates and fences is that there's not enough, you know, like a wall, for instance, is solid. 
Matter of fact, we'll back up to this wall and see if it sees it. And so let's see what it does when we back up towards this wall. It's got the uh, post driver in front of it. And it's not gonna recognize it. So like I said, I'm not sure what the rhyme or reason is. So I'm not sure what the rhyme or reason is on why it will or won't recognize something. Uh, but either way, I can see how close I am to something. It's easy just to glance up like this as opposed to turn around and look like that and try to see something. So I guess as far as, you know, I don't know if you want to call it a flaw or inconvenience, it's not that bad. So like, just like right now, instead of wondering where I'm at, I can simply glance up. And I do look at the sides and stuff still because we have dogs. And while I do believe that they won't get behind it, I don't know so much if they'll understand the sides always, so I always look. I've got the mic right here up by it. I'm pretty sure you can hear the sound coming out of this. And like I said, it's just, you know, echoing whatever it hears, which is fine when you're sitting still and the engine's not running, but when the engine's running, it's inconvenient in this situation. Now you can turn the sound off um, for microphone and stuff, and I'm actually about to do that right now. So under picture is where you can mute it. I was certain it was in here. I just couldn't remember where. Now I'm going to go back there and test it and see if I still get my alarm beep. Yep, still get it. Come here, Val. Yeah, so I don't know if you can hear it, but I can see on the camera way up there. Yeah, I think you can see it on the camera that it's beeping and it can see me. So that's a little bit more about it. Um, like I said, I, I don't really know what else to show you. Everybody was asking a lot of questions and I think this will pretty much answer most of them. The, uh, there is a link down in the description if you're really interested in one, go check them out. And uh, like I said, I mean, they're, they're not sponsored, we're not sponsored on this channel by them or anything like that. I just wanted something so I'd stop knocking specifically that gate because that's the one that seems to always get it. Knocking it off like you saw in the first video about this thing. And that so far has helped. We haven't run into anything yet, but give us time. I'm sure we'll figure out a way to do it. And uh, all of our manure is in here. So this manure, I know it seems weird, but we actually got this for free from a friend that they don't have a lot of acreage. And so they feed their animals hay all the time and they needed to get rid of some of it and asked us, um, you know, if we'd be interested in it. I said, oh, absolutely. And so we kept dropping our trailer off. They'd fill it up with their tractor and then we'd bring it here, unload it, and take it back. This is, I think, four loads. Three loads, three or four loads. It's a, it's a good chunk. It's not going to cover our whole hay field, but we'll, we'll cover the areas that we know are problem areas and uh, go from there. So hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, it's best I could do for you. So hopefully that answers most of the questions. Also, I'm sure you saw our Instagram posts and social media posts about our truck broke down. So thankfully I had Jason's, uh, we're actually going to look at a tractor. So that's kind of why I needed to borrow his to get my trailer emptied so I can go look at that tractor and uh, potentially have a second tractor. So stick around. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Like the video if you haven't, it really helps us out. And, uh, you know, hope you get to watch the next couple videos to see what tractor we may or may not have got for a second tractor. Other than that, have a blessed week. We'll see you next time.